Hello everyone, hope you're all well, and uh, welcome to another OMC2 video. Uh, I'm giving the Flight Sim videos a bit of a break for now, because there's, uh, uh, put it this way, with the PMDG 737 not too far off, there are going to be a lot of them. So, um, so I thought, you know what, let's return to OMC, um, I'll do something on OMC. And uh, Gainsborough Phase 3 has, uh, has just released. So we've uh, we've left a realistic rendition of Hamburg behind for a semi-fictitious rendition of Lincolnshire, and uh, we'll be taking the uh, the Studio Polygon E400 MC all the way to Lincoln from Gainsborough on the hundred, which is uh, which has recently been extended in OMC from from Saxilby all the way to Lincoln, and um, this will be my first. This is actually my first go of the route, so uh, this will be a sort of first look video per se more more than it is a let's play so um so yeah um only only issue i have found so far is my uh my mmc seems to be broken the uh, dg3 on it doesn't work so i actually have to change my blinds through the alt menu and omc but that shouldn't really detract from anything without further ado let's unpause and get stuck in so turn our electrics on and I'll, uh, I need to remember the pin, there it is. What I can do is I'll just go to my, uh, Audio alt menu. September 15th, 2019. And set my blind to 100 Lincoln. And if we then go out. There you go. There's a side blind on the, uh, red colour as well, but no rear blind. Or at least, not a rear blind that's been set up correctly. In any case. Gotta wait for the uh, database to initialize first, which uh, does take a while. I think is a there you go. There's the issue with the DG3. It's just not turning on, but again, not too much an issue. So just get ourselves set up quickly. Scan our duty totals. Enter our pin. Accept the duty. Accept the trip. And we can continue. So our ticket information and. Okay, so let's open up. He would like a day rider or a day saver as it is here, so this ticket is a strange and we are apparently running late, so let's start up our engines. We'll start up our engine. Start up the door, into drive, and brake off. And carry on. So we're driving a mirrorless AOC, which is uh, quite handy. You don't have to change the camera view to see the uh, mirrors all the time. I don't know what this. Um, don't really know what general consensus on mirrorless buses is in real life. Some, I don't mean some people like it, some people hate it. But oh, there's no way to, no other way to find out whether or not a new technology is good unless you test it out. So this is the, uh, the already pre-existing section of the map. I've not driven Phase 2 in a while, so I don't know what's changed or if anything's changed. Right, we're 100, so we turn right here. Oh, we don't get a go. That's a shame. Right, try and not run people over. As you may have seen already, we're driving the uh, a sort of fictional road car livery, fictional Lincolnshire road car livery on the uh, the MC, and it looks all right. So wants to get on at Trinity House. Okay, Another day saver. Fair enough. There we go. Thank you. Very, very quick stop scene. So we've, well, we're we're about a minute and a half down, so we need to make that up somehow. Yeah, I've I've uh, decided to drive the voice box and see this time round, because I don't know why. Because I tend to prefer 
ZF box ones or even the Scania, but the other part of me thought I haven't driven a Voice box bus in a while, so may as well give that a go. There's no one coming, so carry on. Used to, okay. I see how it is. I'm CAR, just being I'm CAR. Love to see it. Alright, no one wants to get on here either, which is good for us. Oh, completely forgot about this left turn. And also about how weirdly sensitive my brake pedal is. Uh, we're driving the low height variant of the MMC today, and for good reason. We're going to just a bit of a squeeze under the bridge there. And the left turn into, well, this road. Blimey. We haven't hit anyone, so that's good. Or rather, haven't hit the parked car. Which doesn't really matter because I've got collisions turned off. But it's, uh, it's nice, uh, nice that we didn't anyhow. So yeah, if, if I recall correctly, or if I recall correctly from phase two, the hundred was was mainly a sort of national speed limit country road route, bar this little bit here, around the back end of this bit of Gainsborough. So why is it so warm in here? Why have the air con turned on? Oh well. I think we're just going to pop out of this housing estate bit here, so no one wants to get on here either. I suppose it is around half seven. And uh, yeah, nice curbing Omar, well done. How on earth do I have a driver's license? Back up to a 30 mile an hour road here. Bank just plant it tight bit there. No one wants to get on there either. Oh yeah, there's uh, Gates Really Road Station to the to Rice bus. Now that is uh, now that is a real station. Just don't know if the surroundings are realistically depicted. Just coast it here, we're going downhill slightly and uh, obviously with rising petrol cars we sort of need to be careful. Does anyone want to get on there? No, clearly not. Yeah, we've only got two passengers on so far. I think it was a bit overkill taking Decker out on this, but in any case, knowing my luck, there'll be there'll be like a load of passengers getting on in some random little village halfway across the route. Oh, looks like there's someone waiting for that stop. So what we can't do is. Never mind. That's just someone walking. Just keep on expecting too much from uh, Omsi's path of spawning, don't I? I mean, the sort of upside of this is we've made up a fair bit of time, so uh, it's not too bad. No one there either. To be fair, I think I've turned my passenger spawn down a bit, but shouldn't affect it too much. Right, just downhill again, this coast for a bit again. Save ourselves some petrol, or rather diesel. Oh, 
village of Lee. And uh, no one wants to get on here either. Yeah, I reckon this will be a very quick run. Yeah, in phase one, I believe the hundred terminated here. Don't know if it went all the way through the stacks or me, but I'm fairly sure it. But obviously, it didn't go all the way through Lincoln. This very recent extension. And I can't believe it's not another housing stay. Go a bit wide, make a turn. Just curve it again. They didn't go wide enough. Yeah, I've got my assault screen down as well, so not really much reason to have the assault screen up. Very nice church, actually. Wow, someone actually wants to get off rather than getting on. Good for them. Wherever on earth this next stop even is, I think it's there. Should be there. Well, you can light one passenger, just so I'm past drop, you can see me to work for a bit. There we go, just quick stop. Got one behind us, we'll push be courteous and thank them, I suppose. Okay, I'll, I didn't expect uh, it to turn into a national speed limit road here, but I'll take it. Put all the way to the floor, just cruise all the way down. Put it. Fresh area. And slow down again for Nave Park or Nave. Yeah, it'll be Nave Park, really, won't it? Now some, some the other passenger we have is getting off, and still no one else has gotten on. I indicated a bit early, but oh well. yeah, I remember following the uh, development of this bus, however long ago it was, but. Genuinely, only feels like yesterday that this bus is being developed. So, you know, I'll, I'll actually need to just have a look at its release date again, just to figure out how long it's been. It's, it can't be more than two or three years. I've barely traveled since six form when this was released, so uh, let's go with that two or three years. Slow around a bend and national speed limit, country lane again. I suppose this time around we don't have any passengers to worry about, but I still won't like swing it into this corner. Just remember, we've got a deck, but we've got a fairly high centre of gravity, so last thing we really want to do is just swing it round into a corner and topple over. I think it's a bit too much to ask. Um, hoping that someone will hop on the next few villages. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I suppose it's also fairly realistic for this time of morning in rural Lincolnshire. That's all of everyone else at home.
rather know what's really bothered to go out at this point. No one there either. I'll take it. I'm fairly sure the scenery has been vastly improved since I've last driven this as well. It looks a lot more a lot more country-like. I believe the last time I drove this it was relatively flat and there wasn't much nearby scenery or vegetation, so it's always nice to see a few little things being improved that make the uh, you know, that sort of make the overall experience a much nicer one. Let me guess. No one else getting on here. How did I guess? Magic. I don't know. And it looks like we've hit some traffic. Or at least, uh, sort of rural Lincolnshire equivalent of it. Coast for a bit. Don't really need to give it a lot more power. It's probably slowing down anyway. And no one getting on here either. Isn't that great? There's a little sort of village corner, clearly. And, uh, yeah, followed again by another national speed limit country lane. See if we can get us to downshift because uh, sort of need it. And uh, we clearly can't, so just slow down for this bend. Don't want to be going too quick for that one either, so just like tap on brakes. I'm making this sound more like I'm playing ACC rather than obviously, but sort of need to keep myself entertained a little bit more. Fox and Hounds pub on our right hand side. No one wants to go to a pub at seven and, uh, quarter to eight in the morning, clearly. I suppose it is a Saturday as well, so no one will actually be commuting it. But we are running slightly early, so I think I'll get the screenshot at the next stop. And surprise, surprise, no one wants to get on here either. Isn't that great? Hazards on, handbrake on. Just get rid of the uh, lane. Oh, there's a hell of a lot of traffic behind us, and also me just not being able to right click properly, which is always exciting. Come on, Omar, you, you take photos of your life just to make this work. Right, turning my DPI down, which actually makes it a bit better, so that's nice. Just F12 it, and I think I'll, uh, I'll bring those print screen this one as well. Why not? Perfect. Okay. Right, we've lost enough time to sort of make my driving style viable again. a really nice little village. We haven't gone through Saxelby yet, so I'm, this is still the old the old section of the route. I think from what I've from what I've seen, the hundred is now about fifty minutes end to end. Which makes it a really, really nice drive. Or or like a sort of really really interactive drive shall I say. There, there we go. Should be getting to the uh, to a new set. 
Okay, I think that was someone that actually wants to get on. Well done, Omar. Aren't you a moron? You know what? Screw cars. I've got collisions turned off for a reason. God, I'm... I am a moron, aren't I? Again, I've got collisions turned off for a reason. If someone ends up making a uh, most open moments compilation, this will definitely be in it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Paying for a £12 ticket with one penny extra. You've got... How? What? Yeah, obviously, nice one. So first it pays for a 12, piece, 12 quid ticket with one penny extra and then it tells me the penny I gave was too little change. Okay, I see how it is. Anyway, this uh, little kerfuffle has now made me two minutes late. But we should make that up. Not a problem. I'll turn half lights on, why not? No one there. Let's carry on. I'll just coast it again. I'm going to slow down for this bend. Don't want to topple that poor lass over. We've already given her enough grief this morning by uh, almost missing her. The random little uh, farm patch on this there. Does anyone want to get on here? Let's have a look. Slow down in anticipation. I realise there's no one there and foot to the floor again. This is a bit exciting. Just don't want to take this at 50 in the bus. Probably don't even want to take it at 50 in a car, to be honest. That go easy, does it? I don't know what, Lincolnshire, uh, Lincolnshire Rally won't be that bad. I'm entering Stow Village, or if you're in the Scottish borders, it'll be Stow, but... God, I love the English language. Oh, this is actually really nice feels well, very rural. I was hoping it feel very rural. I think it seems to have done that quite well. Is that a brick shelter? Oh my god, it is. Very nice. I had to wait in a brick shelter once. In like one of the villages on the seven between Mason and Tunbridge Wells. Or rather between Mason and Tunbridge. It's a very interesting experience. They're actually really good. Uh, they're like thermal insulators. So it was nice and cool at the shelter while it was beaming it down outside. Well done for this next bend as well. Again, we don't want to take that at 50 in the bus. No less 50 in a double decker.
there was someone waiting to get on, or... No. Clearly not. Hell or fire? Wow, that was, uh, <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty cool. But no, um, PMG G737, not too far around the corner. Um, I'd, I'd buy the Mad Dog, but it's sort of in a fight. Well, it's like 90 US dollars. It's not exactly the most affordable vehicle, as much as I'd love it. Just like the AE 146, again, I'd love to buy it, but um, I've. Uh, sort of no idea of historical timetables or whatnot with, uh, with you know what what routes they operated on what call signs they had etc etc and uh, yeah PMD G737 not far off uh, Amir in the Phoenix Discord server basically just going oh yeah by the way Phoenix Airbus is a matter of days away if everything goes well. So that would be really, really cool. But what else is really, really cool is that someone's actually getting on! Alright, awesome. Got there. Got this far on. Hello! Okay, the NCTS zero there. Enjoy. We're also slightly, slightly ready, but. Oh my god, that is a lot of traffic. Sorry guys. Anyway, enough of that. It's three miles to Saxelby, and I think... Yeah, so three miles to Saxelby. And, uh... Right, so what are you doing? Oh, okay. Indicate just as you start turning, why don't you? I don't remember it being this, uh, this twisty in phase two, <laughs> to be honest. Now let's see how, uh, I I'm actually quite curious to see how well uh, Lincoln's been recreated, given I was there a few weeks ago. And she isn't waiting for us. Just keep going. There's us leaving Sturton, clearly. So we're back on uh, back on national speed limit again for a quick blast down the Saxelby. Very nice. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This uh, this is about as rural as you can get it. There is one map I need to give a bit more of a drive actually, and that's Smarden, but um, there's just so much choice in terms of routes you can do it, I just don't know where to start, so uh, yeah, I suppose Smarden will have to, have to wait before I cover it on here. But from uh, sort of what I've seen and what I've experienced on Smarden, it's a really, really, really fun map. Very tight, but very, very exciting at the same time. Slow down a bit. Really just swinging into this corner, aren't we? Again, I, I wouldn't take these corners at national speed limit in a car. In a car. So there's no way I'm taking them at national speed limit in a bus. No, I put, I put a community post out on sort of, as you know, you can do posts on YouTube channels. And, oh, it's the verge, as you do. Um, 
but I'll put a community post out on the channel. I'll see if that actually gets any responses. Not like any of the previous ones I did got any. But I put that out anyway. Um, you know, see if you guys have any more root ideas for the 737 when that releases. Because honestly, I'm. Uh, there's just so much to do with the in the USA alone. And, um. Ooh, bloody. Fair bit to do with them in Europe as well, but. Because I don't want to do too much with it until, um. You know, Fly Tampa puts her Amsterdam over to, uh. to MSFS. Because obviously KLM. Well, KLM and Transavia are one of the biggest. 737 700 users in Europe. I believe they, well, them and SAS, I believe, are the only ones. And, uh, well, and TUI. That could be an idea, actually. And TUI have got two 700s based at, based at Brussels. So pick up Aerosoft to Brussels and do a few, um, like, holiday runs in it. Wow, someone actually wants to get on here. Not even that, two people want to get on here. Right. Pull up. Doors open. Easy. Single trip for you. And you've paid with exact change as fair. And you've paid with exact change as well. That's fantastic. Okay, that, uh, that queue's reduced by quite a bit, but still fairly big. So, let's carry on. But now, if you, um, like, 2E737 runs, especially now that it's the summer season, or the summer season's coming up, would be, uh, I reckon would be quite nice, so, um, yeah, as always, just pop a few ideas down, if, or a few requests down if you really want to, and I'll try and get them covered. Right, I, I think Saxelby is where it's really starting to pick up a bit, because we've already got someone else waiting for us. What supermarket that we're stopping at? Oh, it's a spa. Right, handbrake on. Door open, you know the drill. Okay, and again, brakes on, door shut, and carry on. Well, we've only got five passengers on now, but it's still better than the zero we had for a tiny bit. I don't actually know where in Saks will be the terminus was in phase two, but Okay now someone wants to get off. And from the looks of it someone wants to get off as well. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard that one before. One's gone off and the other person wants to get on the side. There we go. One for one, very nice trade off. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard that quite like warning before. Very interesting. I'm genuinely quite curious to find out what it is. Uh, watch me, uh, watch me sort of be the same with the 737, like up a tiny thing, and then just get all manner of weird warnings I've never heard. So one thing I need to really get used to is, uh, well, in fact, arming a speed brake isn't part of the uh, before takeoff checklist, so I'm probably going to get a TO config warning the first time I fly the thing. 
and brake on, indicator on, door open. Right, here's your change. Here's your day saver. Enjoy. Ciao. Right, you'd like a single, so here's your single, and here's your change. Ciao. Right, you're just tapping your pass on. And do you would like a child day saver? Very nice. Okay. You know the drill. Closed doors, brakes on, indicator on, and pull off. I don't know if I've said this yet, but this bus is so nice to drive in, honestly. Obviously, I wouldn't know how it compares in, in real life, but even so. Responds in every way you want it to. There you go. Someone else is getting on. I can't believe I'm about to gain uh, get a newfound appreciation for Saxelby. Right, watch the pass user. There we go. And this looks like the address axle be so. Oh, nice of you to just walk out into the road. Oh well. I'm not gonna take on CAI as gospel. Given they can't even use roundabouts properly or indicate properly. Right, let's have a look at these uh, petrol prices. Oh my god, I wish you were still that cheap. Anyway. Here's enough uh, petrol price ranting for me. But I wish it was still that cheap. <laughs> okay, so just sit 40 for now and... National speed limit coming up. Put, put it down. See you later. Now, this is very clearly the new, new build section of the route, and oh god, it looks really nice. Vegetation with flowers seems to be a lot more dense here than they were on the older section. It's a nice crash barrier on the side as well. I can't believe I've ever called a crash barrier nice, but it's a very nice touch. But that's the thing with Bombsy Maps. You, it's, it's little things that make it really nice. And I don't know why I just did that, but there you go. We are simply schmoozing along. It's close to a bit in case I want to get on here. Slow down. There's no one waiting. It's kind of right. I, I, I can imagine that's a stop that many people would miss, or at least many new drivers would miss just because of how hidden the way it is. Definitely tell you're in rural Lincolnshire. It's sort of every town, every village is very spread out. Oh, that one didn't even have a bus stop. Oh, road signs. And of course, it's right about. So, given we've got the bus and waters. Or is this, no, I think this is the burst from water stop. Just a little turn off. No one coming from our right. I 
three miles to Lincoln. I can't believe that's over already, or almost over already. That's a shame. It's actually really starting to enjoy that. Down a bit, don't want to swing too far into this corner. Though I'm fairly sure it works in RT, that's been driven faster into, into a corner like this. It's a lot of fun that you can get some off. Tell you what, something like an RT or an RM or even an RF would be really nice to see, and I'm safe. I can't believe I'm saying this given I wasn't a big fan of hard crabs back in the day. I don't know if you've heard that, but 30 cent just went past mine. Very nice. Right, so is it there we're going to, is it? No, it'll be there surely given that it was left for Scunthorpe and right for Lincoln. Or rather straight on for Lincoln. Oh, I've done it again. Very nice. Alright, come on, find the next gear, please. Rest in peace, engine. Rest in peace, gearbox. And rest in peace, turbocharger. That was interesting. It's voice gearbox doing voice gearbox things. So in rural Lincolnshire, we have somehow hit traffic. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Ah, oh, it's just a set of lights, okay. Fair enough. Well, the next stop's there. I don't know if it's the timing point, but we are about half a minute early. And is that someone waiting to get on there? Oh, it looks it. Oh, two people waiting to get on there. Right, okay. Can't believe I'm looking at petrol prices and honestly. But please, just... I'm sorry, but... The premium stuff is 115. I want it to be that cheap. Like, not even the standard stuff is that cheap anymore. This is indeed so sad. Right, are you going to let me pull out or...? Evidently not. There we go, there's a gap. Or maybe not. See what I said about MC AI? Yeah, that. I think that's just living proof. Normal car would have just slowed down and actually let me pull out, but... Oh, don't tell me we have to do this again. Okay, good morning. Hello, hello. Right. Okay. A much bigger gap. Let's go. Watch this van just not slow down anyway. I believe this is uh, this is Lincoln itself now. Oh, 
with just a, a little lot more traffic lights here, including one we have to slow down for now. There we go. And that is a lot of people. Is there someone waiting to get on there? Because I can't actually see it behind that parked car. Also, a very nice location for a bus stop. Just sur sur surrounded by parked cars, as you do. Right, there's no one there getting on. Just carry on. If someone does want off of the next one. Yep, this is definitely Lincoln. Oh, I keep forgetting Lincoln's got city status as well. Oh, it's half end recently getting city status, hasn't it? So, it's another thing I need to get used to. And of course, we've hit uh, slow moving traffic on a Saturday morning. Might pop to the Canterbury or Canterbury. That looks like a no, but in any case, might pop to London's for a drink. Monster or something, isn't it? Uh oh, okay, okay, set of traffic lights. They're just really badly timed. Right, do some brakes, carry on. Okay, that was last time. Try and squeeze myself in. Not in front of that focus, but in front of that van, definitely. Yeah, I wonder how many traffic light cycles it will take me for me to actually make it through these lights. I'm placing my bets on two. So there's the first cycle starting. Ah, okay, fans are clearly not letting me through. Cheers, man. Right, I reckon two was a decent enough prediction. We're already at, oh okay nice, nice curb but does that van just say fed up ah. why am I not surprised love the little in jokes they have it also no welcome to Lincoln we have uh, flats and also flats and also somehow city status. Okay, well at some point these lights will have to will have to change to to green. Ooh. I'm getting tired waiting at virtual traffic lights. Absolute state of me. Right, there we go. Hopefully we'll make it through on this cycle.
And we have. There we go. <laughs> no way, but Dance says out of reach as well. It's brilliant. And we have another light of pasture. Or two lights of pastures. Okay. Right, let's see if we can make up three and a half minutes by the time we get to the bus station. Actually, what is the turnaround time? Ah, oh, yes, apparently zero turnaround time. Interesting. Thumb timetabling if you give your give your folks zero minutes to turn around. Right, we should be at the bus station in about three minutes. Just to put into perspective how late we are. Oh, okay, so I wanted to get off there. Well done, Omar. Oh, okay, the next stop is the bus station. Fair enough. Come on, you can do it. Apparently the well the bus station here is actually built like the bus station is in real life, it's in this real life. Oh, there's the station. That looks fairly true to life. The bus station sadly doesn't, but it's a really complex building to model, so I don't see why you would really. Oh, very nice. It's actual, uh... Reversing departure bus station. Drops off at Stand End, which is, well, there. Set destination to not in service and drive to standby to end. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll just set that to not in service. Okay. And just to light everyone. Oh, that should be everyone. And with that, we'll uh, go into neutral and then reverse. And begin reversing. Doesn't appear to be anyone behind us. Then it wants us to pull into stand I, which is, uh, well, if my knowledge of the alphabet doesn't uh, evade me, it's this one here. Okay. to spend another few minutes being thankful that I haven't had collisions turned on. 
Okay. Just pull up, pull up, and stop. There we go. Neutral. And engine off. And. Can do is just cancel the timetable and uh, reset it because I don't think it's it's done that properly. Okay, so we do get 10 minutes of stand time, that's uh, all well and good. With that, we've reached the end of the route. I'll just shut ourselves down, we're not going to load up just yet, but we've reached Lincoln, we've, uh, we've gained time, we've lost time, we've uh, missed stops because I'm incredible. We've uh, complained about cars. It's just, some, you know, just another day, uh, just another day in on scene, just another day in rolling, cheerily. So, uh, can't even get a good, good departing shot here. You know what? I'll just make a departing shot this time up here. With that, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this obviously video. And, uh, as always, any feedback, any ideas, greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, will not only help make my content better, but hopefully uh, allow you to enjoy it a lot more. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, glad you can join me on board again, and I will see you again next time.